so, hi, um, my name's Rob, and I thought I'd introduce myself. Um, th there's a subscriber that I have, and, uh, his name is Bill Gates. Uh, you can subscribe to him if you like. I'll make sure he comments in the section, in the comment section below. But what I wanted to try and do here was, in a way, try and introduce the condition that I have and it's called hydrocephalus. You can search it up on the internet. I'll put a link down below um, in the description to a link that I found very helpful to uh, describe to my viewers what my condition actually is. And so what it is, is it's basically a um, blockage in the brain and what happens is yeah, there's a blockage in the brain, so you need like a shunt, which is a big plastic tube that goes from my head down to my stomach, and um, it's the only thing saving me from having a seizure and stroking out or whatever. Uh, sad, but true. The thing is, you need to realize that, you know, there are people that, you know, are actually in a lot worse condition than me. You know, I was... When I was three years old, I had my first hydrocephalus surgery. It was about an hour and a half, and I was fine. But, you know, I was three days old. Can you believe that? Having a surgery when you're three days old. Scary, right? Then, I, um, well, I guess this is really a video of my medical history, I guess. And then I'll go into hydrocephalus as well. Uh, this might be a little long, but we'll see. Um... So what happens is, um, when I was eight, I had my belly button surgery, because my belly button was an outie. So, obviously I had surgery to make sure I was an innie, so I didn't look like a complete freak. Then, when I was around 15 or 16, I had, oh sorry, no, when I was two, sorry, let's go backtrack. That when I was two, I had another hydrocephalus surgery and because it dislocated my shunt. Uh, then I had my belly button surgery, as I told you, and then when I was 15, I had my 15 or 16, or no, 15. Um, I had my um, hydrocephalus surgery because it dislocated again. It's quite likely that it will happen quite a lot in your lifetime, uh, and it was very I was very lucky to have my shank for, what, 12 years, 13 years-ish, and, you know, I was really lucky. So, you know, you, you need to realize that there are people out there that aren't as lucky as me, and, you know, I sometimes have to think about that as well, because I think, oh, I have the worst life ever sometimes, and that's just because of the workload I have. But I also need to realize that there are people in poverty, you know, in Malaysia, or, I mean, not to be racist or anything, but, you know, it's true. You know, you, you think about people in the Philippines, you think about people in Haiti, you know, they've all been through a lot of crud. Uh, I'm trying not to swear here, so apologize for my bad English. Um, you know, it's, it's really hard. And I think that, you know, eventually, you're going to have to realize that, you know, I'm a pretty special person. Because I remember, you know, I, I remember when I was little, I was about maybe one and a half, two. And I remember the doctors saying, you know, I'm never going to be able to walk. I'm never going to be able to talk. I'm always going to have seizures. And look at me. I can talk. I can walk. And I don't have seizures. Hallelujah, right? So, you know, it's all about perseverance, I think, as well. And always having your mom and dad beside you saying, go. Do what you need to do and be happy. And, you know, that's huge. Anyway, there's something I really wanted to bring up in this. Hydrocephalus was one part of the video. But the main part I want to talk about is what I went through a couple months ago, back in February. Okay, it's a long time ago. So it's 11 months ago, um, basically. And what's funny about it is uh, the fact that... Um, I had my surgery, my intestine surgery, because my intestines were twisted, on Valentine's Day. Like, how silly is that? You know? 
So, anyway, what happened was my intestines were twisted. I was in pain for 48 hours. And for those of you who don't know, and for some of you who do, this is a repeat, but live with it. People who have twisted intestines would know that it's like being in labor. That's what the doctors told me anyway. And it was funny and ironic in a way because I was delayed because of a woman in, in labor having twins. Like, really? Anyway, 48 hours in pain. I ended up not having too much morphine because there was a guy above me who had um, major heart attacks every half an hour. So I ended up not having very much morphine. So I became like a superman because I had, like I said, I had to live 48 hours without morphine, without, without even food. 48 hours without food. I've done what people do in Haiti all the time. People in Haiti, think about that. People in Haiti don't have food, don't have water. You know, or, well, they, if, if any, they have fairly dirty water. And, you know, I'm touching on a lot of things here, but, you know, God, Jesus, it's really hard. Because, I'm trying to organize my thoughts here, so, sorry if I go off track a bit. Um, but, you know, like, really, like, I, I realized that after searching, and I'm like, Jesus. People live like this, and I'm wondering if there's anything that you guys have actually done. Like, you need to realize that this is out in front of you. It may not be affecting you, but it's still something to worry about. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, comment in the comment section below what you think about all this. And if you want to learn more about my condition, feel free to message me. I'm always able to get a talk to you, and I will always message you back usually within the day, and if not within the week, for sure. I'm always on my email, um, so please, please, please feel free to message me. Um, unfortunately, I've had to put the comment section on approval, due to the fact I don't want stupid people saying, oh, who gives a crap, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's why I put um, approval, and if I don't like the comment, I will either A, approve it but not respond or b not approve it so either way i won't i won't respond so just just know that if you get hate don't think that i won't be thinking the same thing okay so yeah that's basically it and like i said i'm gonna put a hydrocephalus link down below so you can check that out and again if you want any more information let me know and i'll do the best i can to answer your question thanks guys